My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Question is, okay, how, how, how did they say good morning that you believe that you are fighting for good morning? Where did they come from? You don't know. If somebody is saying shalom, why do you want to fight the shalom? Because either way, you don't lose anything. Is, is somebody with me? If I say good morning, it's not bad because good is a good word in the Bible. Say good is good. So I'm not saying good morning is evil. It's not evil. I greet good morning. But when you study the scriptures, when you get born again, the greeting he gives to us is shalom. Jesus introduced to us when he became the resurrected Christ. When he died and he came, any time he appeared, he greeted them not good morning. He said, Shalom. John 20 verse 19. Hmm. Now when you type Shalom, you are going to do it with meaning and understanding. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, when the disciples were assembled for the fear of the Jews, came Jesus, where did he pass? The doors were shut. And Jesus stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace unto you. The word is shalom. It's, the Greek is Irene. But when you translate it into the Septuagint, it's the Hebrew version they are quoting, which is shalom. Say shalom. So Jesus told them, Shalom. That is how Jesus greeted people. Go. I didn't tell you to give it to us. Nobody told you to give it to us. A hungry man. So don't tempt me, please. <laughs> Verse 21. They are tempting me today. Oh. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my father has sent me, even so send I you. So look at when he came again, he greeted them again. But when he came the first, Thomas, you know, was not around. I don't know where he went to. Whether he went to see the wife or girlfriend, I'm not sure. But he, he, he was not around. They said, Jesus came here. He said, no, if I don't see the guy, I will never believe. As he was talking, Jesus appeared. And look at how he greeted the guy. Next, go to verse 26 for me. After eight days, again, his disciples were within and Thomas with them. As if Jesus had their conversation. Then came Jesus. The door being shut. And stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Shalom. This is how Jesus greeted them. If we are following him, is it wrong to say shalom? Because there's a revelation of this shalom. So, when you check the greetings of Jesus after his death and resurrection, it was just shalom. In heaven, that's how they greet. Some people in the New Testament, they like the writings of Paul. They call it the Pauline revelation. Others like John the Divine. Others like Peter. Whoever, which one of you, you like and you follow, they all agreed on this. The greeting was one. Shalom. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 1 verse 2. Glory be to God. Unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be seen, with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both years and hours. This is how he greeted them. Grace be unto you and shalom. You, we can go up to all the writings of Paul. You can do it except the book of Romans. He greeted them. Grace and shalom. That's how Paul greeted them. We can go. Jump to 1 Timothy 1 verse. This one is, every book, you, this is how he greeted. Because they understood. They had a revelation. 1 Timothy 1 verse 2. Unto Timothy, my own son in the faith. Grace, mercy, and shalom. So, when they wanted to greet people in those days, that's how they greeted them. Even John the Divine, that's how he greeted 
when he had to write his letter. Second John 1. Second John 1 verse 3. Glory be to God. Second John. Grace be with you. Mercy and peace from God the Father. And from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. So, he is trying to greet the guy he is writing a letter to. He greets Shalom. Then, John is the same person who wrote the, the book of Revelations. Before he wrote it to the churches, Revelations 1 verse 4. Look at how he greeted them. Why would they be consistent with their Shalom? John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and Shalom from him which is, which was, and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. He says this Shalom, it comes from Jesus. It comes from the seven spirits of God. Paul to the Jew guy, the Jewish, the strong guy. Paul, the first pope. Peter, I mean Peter, the first pope. He greeted Shalom. First Peter 1 verse 2. Mm. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling to the blood of Jesus. Grace unto you and Shalom be multiplied. This is how they greeted now let me just say that i'm not saying that go to your boss and say that this good morning is bad change it no 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 don't do that the one give to caesar what belongs to caesar and give to god what belongs to god you don't go to interview and say that shalom my pastor i should greet you shalom they are saying good morning and you're saying shalom please don't increase our prayer point <laughs> is somebody with me no if i don't do that somebody will go and fight on shalom and please they were not here when you were hearing the sermon you have the light. Practice it. Do you understand? Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. So, Jesus greeted Shalom. The apostles, we call them, they greeted Shalom. If we must follow them, we should understand why they were greeting Shalom. Because anytime you said Shalom, Shalom is a substance. Anytime you say Shalom, it has a heavenly substance. It's not another greeting and say that good morning or shalom is a substance. You can put it there, you can take it away. You can make a deposit of shalom and you can redraw shalom. You can carry it and you cannot carry it. When it's there, it causes some stuff to happen. When it's not there, it will cause other things to not to happen or other things to happen. The Bible says, I believe that we are in the days where the red horse has been released. Because the Bible said that when the red horse is released, he will come and take Shalom away. Revelation 6 verse 4. Hmm. Hmm. And there went out another horse that was red. Say red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take Shalom from the earth. Did you hear that? One of the reasons why there is always commotion everywhere right now. We are approaching the end times. And in the end time, the red horse is released. And there is a being on the red horse. He has power to take away Shalom. That is why in this end time, you must understand the power of Shalom. And decide to release it in your atmosphere. Or else. Or else. Why? Because the one who sits on the red horse is in the process of taking Shalom out of our world. And what will happen? He said that, and take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. The guy has a great sword. He should come and kill. He will never be able to kill as long as there is shalom. But when shalom, li shalom lives, he can do anything. You want to live today, go to your house and say shalom. As your child goes to school, say shalom. Why? It's a tangible substance which you can put on that child. One day Jesus sent them to go and preach. He says that when you go and they accept you, put your shalom there. If they don't accept you, take it with you. Where was it? Was it a handkerchief or a phone? He knew the substance of the shalom. Matthew 10 verse 13. You know what is happening to you right now? You are becoming a person of shalom. As you enter that office, Peace will manifest. Amen. Several years ago, I remember we were on school, vacation, medical school, and I went to visit one friend. He has been telling me stuff about the mom. As I entered the house, the mom was in front trying to, I think it was a seamstress, so he was sewing so, so stuff. I greeted the woman. I went in. I went to speak. Then I left. 
In the evening, the person called me and said that. The mom said, who is that guy who came here? Because when he entered through the main gate, a whole peace filled the whole atmosphere. The person was surprised, but I was not surprised. Because you can carry a shalom. When you, you are going to get to a place where it will be difficult for people to leave your presence. This shalom presence will bring you things. It will attract things for you. When it doesn't matter your position and your title. You need it in that house. You need it in your business. You can have it in your car. People can enter your car. They don't want to get down. Why? You carry a tangible shalom. Mahadadis. From today, people will be happy that they are your neighbors. Because your shalom will take over the neighborhood. In the name of Jesus. That is why you got born again. That will become people of shalom. He said, if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. <laughs> Did you hear that? So if I come and visit you, I brought shalom. I can decide to leave it there or I, I can decide to take it with me. <laughs> we are preaching, we are preaching. In the same way you two from today, you can have the understanding that when you enter that shop, they were so blessed that you came there. If people came to your shop, they were blessed that they came to your shop. You should not be ordinary. No, a thousand times no. Why? Because consciously you are entering into a region of shalom. It's a region of peace. And it's the blessing God said we should give to everyone. Lift up your right hand. Say, I will pray in the shalom. In the shalom. Say the shalom, the shalom in my body. In my body. Shalom, shalom in my finances. In my finances. In my career. In my career. There is the shalom. There is the shalom. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The, name of the Lord Jesus. Now look here. The psalmist is praying a prayer, and he says that the purpose of God is to bless His people with the shalom. Psalm twenty-nine, verse eleven. Oh, glory be to God. As I'm preaching, it is happening right now. I said it is happening right Amen. now. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with shalom. It means shalom is a blessing of the Lord. I know that all of us, we want a car. God, give me a Bentley. There's nothing wrong with that one. Give me plenty money. There's nothing wrong. But this shalom can bring you all those things. And when you have those things without the shalom, you can still be stressed. You can still struggle. Although you have these things. But this shalom is the magnet which brings all these things. By now you know that many people have had plenty of things. And they jump from high towers and die. What was their problem? They, they, they could access anything and yet they die. What they lacked was shalom. The richest person is not the one with material stuff. The one with the supernatural substance of the shalom. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. We have not valued what God has given to us. You want to value it from today. Appreciate it. Be conscious of it. Understand that when you sat in your car, you didn't sit alone. There was a substance on you. You can drop it somewhere if you like them. And you don't like them, you can take it. Jesus told us what to do. He said, and the Lord will bless his people with shalom. Essentially, the gospel we preach is the gospel of shalom. That's what the Bible said. Jesus came preaching shalom. Acts 10 verse 36. Mm, glory be to God. You might be sick in your body. When you get up, I speak shalom. The peace of God. I'm trying to make it simple. I'm not doing a teaching series. I'm communicating what God told me to you. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching Shalom. by Jesus Christ. So when Jesus came, the Bible said that Jesus, wherever he went, he was preaching peace. Some say, Pastor, you told us that he was preaching the kingdom. Yes, because the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. So if I say he preached kingdom and I say he preached peace, I'm saying the same thing. Is that not correct? He's talking about the armor of the believer. And when he comes to the gospel, he calls the gospel the gospel of shalom. Ephesians 6 verse 15. 
Glory be to God. Oh, yeah. Say, I walk in shalom. I walk in shalom. The last pain and stress will be the last one ever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This truth is setting you free. I said, This truth, it is setting you free. Amen. And your feet short with the preparation of the gospel of shalom. So the gospel essentially is shalom. Mm, lift up your right hand. Say, I walk. I walk in the shalom. In the shalom. I walk. I walk in the atmosphere. In the, atmosphere. the power. The power of the shalom. The shalom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It's my inheritance. It is my inheritance. It's my inheritance. It's my inheritance. It's my inheritance. It's manifesting. It's manifesting. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand down. Number 6 verse 24. He told Moses, Moses, this is how to bless the people. And when you are blessing them, this is how you bless them. And what did he say? Now the Lord bless thee and keep you. Next. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto you. Next verse. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give thee. So when we are blessing people and say that let the Lord bless you and keep you, it's not like a, a religious tradition. No, it is the shalom we are depositing on people. And question: How many times have you heard that and you didn't know the value of it? So oh, it's another. We are closing. When we are closing, the pastors that's how that. If you are a reverend, to be a nice reverend, you put your clerical on. The Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine upon and give you no, 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 it's an impartation it's an impartation of the blessing of God it's an impartation this shalom I'm doing my best to explain to you but the Bible says that no man can understand it Philippians 4 verse 7 I'm just doing my best to bring you to a consciousness because it's more than what I have attempted to tell you go to verse 6 for me Oh, I love Jesus. He said, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Is there somebody here, you have a local name, Ajewa. Most people don't know that you are called Ajewa. But I hear Ajewa. 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 I hear Ajewa. It's a name. You. What? Ajewa. Be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication. Sit down for me. I'll pray for you. By prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. Let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God. And the shalom of God. Which. Which passeth. How, how many understand it? It means that this shalom. Scientists will not understand. NASA can co comprehend it. It is beyond what we can even try to tell. He said, this shalom, it passes all understanding. It shall keep your hearts and mind. Professors don't have it. You don't have to be a professor to have it. You just have to know and enter into a conscious covenant with shalom. Can I get in the amplifier? Let me see what the amplifier will say. From today, you know this shalom. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. This shalom, what it will do is that in the midst of fire, you will not fret. How, how, how will your life be if you enter the realm where you don't have anxiety? No, I'm not saying that you, you come to a place where nothing bad is happening. But in the midst of bad happiness, you cannot be anxious. Only the shalom will do for you. I pray somebody will just get a glimpse of it. You can have all the bad news in town around you. And yet, there's a shalom around you. Ooh. And people are asking, is, is, it, is it not? Is it, is it not? What is happening? This shalom passes. Your, your bank account can be in the negative. And yet, you are in the shalom. It's the shalom. <laughs> fret not. Say fret, say fret not. Say, be anxious for nothing. But how can you do that except the shalom comes upon you? He said, do not fret or have any anxiety about anything. But in every, say every. He said, they shall be fat and flourishing. It's a realm where you come to. It doesn't matter what you go through. People will not understand you. 
are you the same person going through that and you are smiling like that and you are happy like that wow why is the shalom the power of the shalom and God is bringing us as a people to that place God is ushering you to the regions of the shalom in the I name of Jesus I said God is bringing you to the regions of it. perfect peace Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. he said he said but in every circumstance in everything by prayer and petition definite request with thanksgiving continue to make your wants known to God and God's peace so it means that this shalom we are talking about is God's peace no you have your peace God has his peace God said that he will give you his peace no no you, you have your car God's car God has his car you have your money God's money this peace there are different types of peace I don't know what to say but God, God said that me you know God you know God it is God who makes heaven heaven it is God he is called the God of peace one of his name he vehu grash look just imagine what they told you heaven is like what produced heaven is God's shalom he said that he can put that shalom in your life and your life can be heaven on the earth Jesus said in John 14 verse 27 he said that my peace I give to you my peace when you were saying my peace he said that my shalom is my type of shalom I'm giving to you peace I live with you my peace I give unto you not as the world giveth give I unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid this peace what it will cause and do for you it brings you to a place where you cannot be moved say I cannot be moved say I cannot be disturbed I cannot be perturbed I cannot be perturbed Psalm 46 verse 1 hmm hey, na, 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 na. God is our refuge and our strength a very present help in trouble next therefore will we not fear though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea just imagine you are sitting there and you saw mountain Everest flying past you Kilimanjaro flying to the next one he said that I will not be moved he said though the waters thereof roar and be troubled though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof pause he said pause and think about what I'm saying next there is a river the streams whereof make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacles of the most high God is in the midst of her she shall not be moved God shall help her and that right early this experience comes by the shalom say the shalom I'm trying to close now when you have this consciousness you begin to know the essence of Jesus coming was to make you his shalom not only can you have the shalom you can become a shalom because when Jesus came one of his names given to him was in Isaiah 9 verse 6 unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of shall the prince of when he was in motion he was the prince of shalom when he came around life he was shalom and yet they did not know him not only are you like Jesus in humility we sing the song uh, what would Jesus do how would Jesus relate if he's shalom you can become a person of the shalom actually the Bible said that this Jesus he is our peace Ephesians 2 verse 14 go, go to verse 7 before you, before you go there give me verse 7 before you go there he's no no go to uh, Isaiah 9 6 verse 7 of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end of the increase of his government and shalom there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it say of the increase of my shalom there shall be no end in the name of Jesus I want you to believe what I tell you and walk in that consciousness Ephesians 2.14 now for he is our peace 
Shout, he is my peace. Are you going to depend on your peace? Or you are going to depend on your peace? I repeat. Are you going to depend on your peace? Or you are going to depend on your peace? The statement is not the same if you understand the definition for the year I say. I say. You can decide to operate by the peace of the world. Use your reasoning. What you go through. But you can resort to the Christ who is inside you. Who is your peace? He has wonderful names. One of his wonderful names is called Jehovah Shalom. One day, Gideon, in the midst of battle, being afraid, he was hiding. Judges says verse 1. He was hiding from the Midianites. Nothing was working for Gideon. Nothing was working. Judges says verse 1. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them dens which are in the mountains and caves and stronghold. This was their condition. Then suddenly an angel appeared. Jump to verse 4 for me. And they encamped. Verse 5. And next verse. Next verse. And Israel was greatly. Next verse. And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites. The Lord sent a prophet unto them. Next. Next. And I delivered. Next verse. And I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not the gods of the. Jump to verse 12. Verse 12. I want to show you. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Next. And Gideon said unto him, If my, oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? He was asking the question that, If God is with me, how come I'm going through all this thing? The angel never accepted the demands of Gideon. Can I tell you something? God will never come to your terms. Because many people say that, God, if you are with me, how come? God will never say, I think I agree with you. I think I left for five minutes. No. He will never agree. I was, I was expecting the angel to say, maybe you see, maybe God forgot. No. He said that, no. The Lord is with you. Gideon said that, if God is with me, how come? God, he stood his ground. After some few conversations, suddenly, the eyes of Gideon opened. And Gideon said, ha. Ah. That just says, go to verse 23 for me now. He was confused and said that God is not with me. But suddenly he's going to see that God is with him. And look at what he's going to say. And the Lord said unto him. And the Lord said unto him. Look at the greeting of heaven. So I told you that in heaven, they say hallelujah and they say shalom. When you go to heaven, you hear hallelujah, you hear shalom. And the Lord said unto him, peace be unto you. Fear not, thou shalt not die. This shalom has a preserving power. The moment Gideon had it, look at what Gideon did. Next verse. It's an altar of shalom. And Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord and called it Jehovah. He didn't come to church. Say Jehovah. Jehovah. Say he's my Jehovah. He's my Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. He's my Jehovah. He's my Jehovah. Shalom. shalom. He's my Jehovah. He's my Jehovah. Shalom. Shalom. From that day, Gideon became a conqueror. Do you know why? Prior to this, he never knew that Jehovah was a shalom. They knew Jehovah as Elohim, but they didn't know this dimension of God, that this Jehovah is his shalom. What does shalom mean? Now give me what I told you to give me. <laughs> no, no, they didn't say that. They didn't say that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. It means completeness. So when I greet you and say shalom, I'm saying completeness to you. It means soundness. When I greet you, shalom, I'm saying that soundness to every area of your life. I want you to have a renewed value for God's peace. Because it's not just another greeting, another something. No, shalom. You see, you need completeness. Somebody said completeness to you. You said, look at, look at something. The richest people in this world. Who are they? Oh, no. The richest people, physically. The Jews, three of us. They are the smartest, they are the richest. Do you agree? Or? No, no, you have to just do your research. All, most of the inventions are from the Jewish people. Everywhere you go, say, this building is for the Jews. This building is for the Jews. They are rich and they are smart. Two of us. How do they greet? How do they greet? 
even if you don't like them, you, you must like their results. <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't like them, I hate them. Whether you like them doesn't change anything. Be humble and like their results so that you can become like them. So, oh, they have bad business practice. How is it that they manage to be bad and nobody caught them? How is it? That one, I even I want to like that part. How can you swindle people for years? Nobody can catch you. It's, it's an ability. <laughs> the shalom. It's a blessing. The earlier you agree that these people are blessed, and even though they are the physical people, some of them you don't pray in tongues. Some of them even don't believe in Jesus, but they know how to greet shalom. From today, you're going to walk in shalom. He said, completeness, soundness, welfare, peace. Completeness in number. Safety, soundness in body. Welfare, health, prosperity. Peace, quiet, tranquility. Contentment. Peace, friendship of human relationship. With God, especially in covenant relationship. Peace from war. Peace. What again do you want? If you can have this, all this in one word. If I greeted you, shalom. Look at what I told you in one word. Can I get the other one, the tell definition? Glory be to God. A state, this is shalom in the Greek. The Greek is Irene. Okay. A state of national tranquility. Exemption from the rage and havoc of war. Peace between individuals. That is harmony and concord. Security. Safety. Prosperity. Felicity. Because peace and harmony make and keep things safe and prosperous. Of the Messiah's peace, the way that leads to peace. Of Christianity, the tranquil state of a soul assured of salvation through Christ. And so fearing nothing from God. And, ah, 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 did you hear that? Fearing nothing from God. It's the peace where you know that when you die, you go to heaven. You just know. You just know. If you are so struggling to decide, will I go to heaven? You, you need shalom. <laughs> I say you need shalom. You can be bold and say that. When I die, I will see the face of my Jesus. It takes shalom to say that. Pastor, how can you say that? How can you say that? You, when you get shalom, you can say that. The blessed state of devout and upright men after death. This shalom transits from time into eternity. I close. One day, Jesus was in the boat with his disciples. And the Bible said, there was a huge storm on the sea. But look at Shalom. The person of Shalom. What did he do? He was asleep on a pillow in the midst of a storm. Matthew 4 verse 38. Nevaha govro krashtas. Mahavahamvavaha. It doesn't matter the storms you are going to face. It's irrelevant. Because the Shalom can make you sleep in the midst of the storm. And there followed him great multitude. Matthew, Mark 4, Mark 4. Give me verse 37. Mark 4, 37. Glory be. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the wind beat into the ship. So that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship. Asleep on a pillow. How did the guy sleep on a pillow in the midst of a storm? When others were running, helter, skelter. The guy was asleep. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, Carries down, not that we perish. Can I tell you something? When you begin to operate in this small dimension, people will be going through stuff. They will tell you. And your reaction, they will tell you you don't care about them. It has happened several times. People want you to run and say, hey, we are dead. But I won't say we are dead. <laughs> Somebody say, Pastor, we know. They want you to say, hey, hey, hey. So what are we going to do? It's world's peace. But when you have this shalom, you can say, okay, no problem. I will get back to you. And you say, ah, ah, I, I, I show you what I said. <laughs> uh, do, do you understand what is going on? Yes. There's a shalom. Where does that? Yeah. Everybody say, you must run. No, no. In the midst of shalom, you can run. Is it correct? Yes. Jesus, in the midst of a storm, they wondered how the guy could sleep. In the spirit of insomnia, anyone struggling to sleep, I guess it right now. I speak peace to you. I speak peace to you right Amen. now. Peace to your mind. Amen. Peace to your life. Amen. I close now. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, don't you care from today? The peace you are going to have, people will suspect that you don't even care about your own life. People begin to think you don't care. But it will be the power of the... You, you, you won't fake it. No, if it's there, we will know. 
It's not like you're going to fake it. <laughs> no, when it's there, we will see. Mm. In the midst of the storms, you can sleep on a pillow in a boat. The boat was shaking. The boat was shaking. All that I came to tell you is what to do with the shalom. And that's what Jesus did. Next verse. Look here now. If you forgot everything, please use the shalom in this way. And he arose by revelation and rebuked the wind. How did he fix the wind of his life? He said unto the sea, Shalom, peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Can I tell you? The wind of your life, do you know what they want to hear? Peace. They want to hear shalom. But we have not spoken peace and shalom to the events. We have spoken our fears, our anxiety, our worries, our concern. Can I be real for once? Can I, can I be real? You see, I'm just afraid, you know. But if I do that, I, I'm... the wind is okay. As long as you tell them how you feel. But the moment you arise like Jesus and shout, peace be still. The wind, they have the intelligence to be still. The storms of your life, they have the intelligence to be still. Today, you come into a conscious covenant, a conscious awareness with the shalom. This is the benefit God gave to us at the end of this fast. You are not going to live here as you came. You are living in the realm. It's a realm. It's a realm. This one, what I want to say, I, I, I've been struggling to say, it's an experience. I pray that somebody comes, stretch your hand towards me. Somebody comes into that conscious experience. I see the shalom invading houses. I see it is, it is invading homes. Mm. It's invading marriages. Amen. It's invading your organs. Amen. Ooh. The shalom of God is the peace of God. Amen. Ooh. Go ahead and say, I receive it. Go ahead. I pray. receive it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Receive, Go ahead. Receive it. Receive Just receive it. it right now. It's I a flow it. of the shalom. Marum brest. Le rengo vredi li asadas. Le merengo vredi li eteli rengo vresh. Le rembe li gre omru ukrahash. Le rem vredi greshtes. Le rembe le digi greshtes. Le merhenga vredi gi greshtes. Vre vre henga vre digi greshtes. Le merengo vre henga peteli ratedes. Speak that shalom to your business right now. Now be on your feet for one minute, Maranga Shahas. Go ahead, begin to speak shalom. The same way Jesus said, Peace be still. Go ahead, speak peace to your children. To that marriage, go ahead. Go ahead, Go ahead, Go ahead, speak it.
Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak peace. I speak peace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. Jesus. Jesus. Is my peace. Is my peace. Jesus. Jesus. He is my peace. He is my peace. And today. And today. I enter. I enter. Into a conscious. Into a conscious. Covenant. Covenant. With Jehovah Shalom. With Jehovah Shalom. I enter. I enter. Into the regions. Into the region Of Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom. All run rest. All run rest. Perfect peace. Perfect peace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say he shall keep. He shall keep in perfect peace. In perfect peace. Whose mind? Whose mind is stayed on him? Is stayed on him. From today. From today. My mind. My mind is on the shalom. Is on the shalom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say I am loaded. I am loaded with the shalom. With the shalom. I am a carrier. The carrier of the shalom. Of the shalom. I transmit. I transmit the shalom. The shalom. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say when I show up. When I show up. Shalom has landed. Shalom has landed. From today, from today, in my house, in my house, in my business, in my business, in my career, in my career, at my workplace, at my workplace wherever I go, wherever I go, there is shalom, there is shalom, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say heaven on earth, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say right now, right now. I maintain, I maintain shalom, shalom in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, in my city, in my city, in my nation. In my nation. I am a representation, am a representation of, shalom. of shalom. Where I go, Where I go, shalom is present. Shalom is present. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. See, I have, I have the altar, the altar of Jehovah Shalom. It is mine. It is mine. It is mine. Le Stir up your spirit. Stir up shalom. Directed to the affairs of your life. Peace. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lift up your two hands. I speak shalom to your way. Watching us online in person. Shalom to your well right now. Of Jesus. Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. Let the storms of your life come down. I receive. Let the storms be quieted. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that tangible substance of the shalom manifest about you. Oh shadows. I see the hand of God touch somebody's mind. It takes. That stress away. Never to return. In the name, in the name of, of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh. Can we sing that song? Thank you, Jesus. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Lift up your two hands, wave it to Jesus. You reign, you reign, you reign. You reign, you reign. Ancient Zion's gate. God knows how. Wave your hands, worship Jesus. You reign. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this standard. Representing your people, we thank you for the visitations this ten days. We thank you for the empowerment this ten days. We come into a conscious covenant with you, Jehovah Shalom. Let the shalom manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Let the peace, let the blessing of the shalom manifest, let the preservation, the safety of the shalom rest upon us. Let the deliverance of the shalom, the restoration of the shalom, the keeping grace of the shalom, let it rest upon us mightily. Jesus, you are our peace. We give you praise. We give you glory. Everyone under the sound of my voice, as they came because of this 10 days fast, Father, they will not escape their reward in the name of Jesus. I said you will not escape your reward in the name of Jesus I am false manifestation I am false dramatic turnaround starting now in the name of Jesus in the attack I curse and father upon all the glory there shall be a defense upon all the glory there shall be a defense upon all the glory there shall be a defense Upon all the glory, there shall be a defense in the name of Jesus. Anyone under the torture of the enemy right now, as I pray online in person, I set you free right now. In the name I of set Jesus. your mind free right in now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I get suicidal thoughts. Jesus. I set you free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. And everyone shouted a living amen. amen. Clap for Jesus. Can you take your seat for one minute? Were you blessed? Yes. 
I have no doubt that you have received something of heaven. What you are going to do is that you are going to walk in the shalom. The consciousness of the shalom. Wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. A quick work with the Lord do. No, 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 no. Mm. Wave your hands. Keep waving your hands. Wave your hands to Jesus. I see that substance of peace resting upon everyone here. The substance of great peace. Mm, the angels are singing. Hosanna in the heart. Let's sing it cool like that. The angels. I sing Hosanna in the heavens. Oh, the, the angels are singing Hosanna in the highest. Oh, the, the angels, they are singing Hosanna in the highest. The angels, the the angels they are singing. Hosanna in the high. Hey! The angels, they are singing. Hosanna in the high. The angels, they are singing. Wave your hands. Hosanna in the high. The blessing of God is upon us. Never doubt it. Hosanna in the Take your seat, everyone. For the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'll pray for some few people. But never doubt that God has visited you this, this 10 days. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.